Hey everybody, welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123 and this is going to be a shopping haul video. So I went shopping, I got a few things and in this video I'm going to show you what I got. So it's not going to be like a massive video, I haven't got that much but it's a video and I hope you enjoy it. If you do please click like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Also all the links to my social media are down below in the description box so come follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Okay so let's get right into this. I went to Select and Poundland as well. You know me, I do love the Poundland. Um, so I'll show you the top that I got from Select at first and this was uh, in the sale. Originally it was $12.99 but it was reduced to $6.99 and it's this lovely whiny colour which is quite similar actually to what I'm wearing now. Um, but yeah look at this, this is so cool. It says on it drama queen oh yeah that is so me i am a bit of a drama queen um and i just saw it and i was like that's so cool and i love the coloring of it and also at the bottom it's got like this cool like band of black and white stripe and it's like really kind of stretchy it fits really well um i saw it hanging up and i was like oh i love it i love it i hope it fits so i went and tried it on and it fit perfectly so I was like yes I did a little happy dance in the changing room all of my own <laughs> thing with select I like select but they're very funny they won't give refunds or anything so like if you get something you get home you don't like it you won't get your money back I mean they will swap it for something else but it's not always something that you want in there do you know what I mean so I always like to try things on in select but I do like a lot of select clothes I've had a lot of dresses from there and jumpers and tops I get my leggings from there as well so they're very good with their sizes like I get a size 8 in there and it always fits it's always nice and loose and comfortable not like really tight so yeah select check them out so I've got that top now Poundland one two three <laughs> so these are twin peaks they uh they're massive like seriously that is huge look it's bigger than my head and I've got a big head look at that it's massive um so basically these are Poundland's equivalent they're their cheap version um of the Toblerone so it is milk chocolate with almond and honey nugget no nougat nugget I don't know how you say it but anyway um and it looks pretty much like a Toblerone it's got that kind of triangle shape underneath and uh, I mean it's it's so hard it's like a rock I don't know how people bite into these things without breaking their teeth I really don't like I've always wondered it with Toblerone like my dad used to love Toblerone well that was before he was diabetic but anyway um, and Nathan's mum loves Toblerone right but I'm like how do you even eat it without breaking your teeth literally my feelings are breaking thinking about biting into this it's like a rock seriously anyway but people are loving them they taste nice um and they're cheaper and i don't know people just go mad for them but here's the thing i read on a website today <laughs> this is a true story by the way i read on a website that uh people are buying these twin peaks they cost a pound in Poundland, and they're putting them on ebay right seriously and they're selling them for as much as 15 pound at times 15 pound for like a bar of chocolate that costs a pound so i don't know if this is like a limited edition thing um maybe they just bring them out for christmas people are loving them and they're like i need to buy all of them certain branches are like selling out of them and it's become a bit of a craze so if you can get hold of you know the twin peaks you must grab them and put them on ebay so anyway, I was thinking this story cannot be real. It's got to be a bit of fake news. But no, it is true. I went on eBay and I went on sold items and they have been selling for like £6, £15. It's mad. Like some people are just selling one on their own. Some people are selling like, like quite a few of them. Uh, so I didn't want to like take a risk because I thought once this has come out, you know, other people are going to do exactly the same with me as me. You know, make a little bit of money, money, money. Uh, <laughs> money, money, money. Um, so yeah, I didn't want to go like too crazy. I was going to get like 10. I thought, oh, that could make me quite a bit of money. But then I thought, no. I thought, no, because in case by then it, you know, it gets like not as popular. I'm stuck with all these chocolate bars. I'm not going to eat them. They're huge and like hard and I just wouldn't eat them. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I've put them on eBay. I've put them on as a three. 
so um, I did like a one day listing so then when people search them because it's quite current today um, it'll be like you know one of the first ending soonest um, adverts so I don't know will they <laughs> sell or will I be stuck with them who will know well I'll know tomorrow obviously but yeah I don't know I thought I'd get in you know with the whole making a bit of uh, quick money but it could go the other way and I'll be stuck with the chocolates anyway next up in Poundland I've got a new lipstick and this is called Black Cherry and it's a really nice dark colour I don't know if you can see that I'll try and take all the cellophane off of it but it looked a really nice colour I think it's like a new shade I've not seen this one I always look at the Poundland makeup um, and I've not seen this one so I'm not saying it is a new shade for definite but I've never seen it so it's new to me it's like it's really nice dark cherry kind of reddy brown colour. There we go. It looks like a matte colour as well actually. It doesn't look all kind of greasy or anything. You see that? Now I've already got loads of lipsticks this kind of colour. But I thought for a pound I just wanted to try it. Let's do a little swatch. Ooh. It actually feels really nice. It feels nice and soft. And it is, it's a bit matte. It's quite shiny. I think that's going to be good. I will put it on now, but I've got my, my gold lipstick on. But yeah, you can see that's quite a strong colour coming through on the swatch. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy that I bought it. I'm going to give it a try tomorrow, so I'll let you all know um, how, how it goes. But yeah, so it's called uh, Black Cherry Number 18 from the Makeup Gallery Poundland Makeup. Okay, by the way, if you can hear Nathan coughing, uh, I apologise. <laughs> he can't help it, he's got a cold that I gave him. So, um, poor thing, he's been coughing like, all night, uh, laying there in bed, like coughing and sneezing. I, I also apologise. You also, Nathan also apologises. Uh, he said, babe, if you're going to film, what, what if I cough? And I was like, well, you can't not cough, you, you know, you can't help it. But yeah, I'm apologising for Nathan, and Nathan's apologising for coughing in the background. Anyway, right, moving on. <laughs> I got him now I don't need any more soft toys I've got so many teddy bears and dolls etc I'm a big kid but I saw his little face right and he was just looking up at me and I was like oh and I like the colouring of him he was like orange and blue and I don't know he had a cute like I don't know he looked kind of sad and lonely like all the other teddy bears that looks exactly the same were all over that side of the box but he was like on his own in the box just looking up like like that <laughs> and I was like oh so I, I got him I get home Nathan looks at him and he's like you do know that's the Chicago Bears and I was like sorry apparently it's um the American football and it's got on it on the label the NFL there we go so it's an official NFL um I think it's a beanie baby beanie balls beanie balls there we go and it says on it, touchdown, oh yeah, Beanie Balls collection, roll me, throw me, catch me. I always land on my feet. He's just so cute though. So I'm not saying I support this team because I don't know who they are. <laughs> I don't even like American football, no offence, I only like soccer, which is our English football. And to be honest, I don't even watch that anymore because I got bored. But anyway, but he's just cute. So he's like a little round ball. <laughs> Anyway, so I got that in Poundland. Um, okay, that's that for that bag. Now, next up from Poundland, I got this wreath. Now, I had a bit of a, not an argument, that's like a, quite a strong word, but a disagreement with my mum, mummy123, because she did not want me to buy a wreath. She doesn't like wreaths. She says they always remind her of death. They depress her. Um, and I could kind of get a point, because, you know, obviously at funerals you see wreaths. Um, but I really like a Christmas wreath. I think they look nice when you hang them on the door. And I just really like them. I think they're nice. So this was £2. It's quite big as well. Um, they had other ones as well, which were even bigger and more kind of detailed. And they were like a fiver. Um, but this one, and they also had some little ones, sorry, little cheap ones that were a pound that were smaller. Um, but I thought this was really nice. And it's got like this like frosted snow on it got the little berries there got little pine cones at the sides um i just think it's really lovely and it looks i think it looks you know dearer than two pounds maybe that's just me but i think it looks pretty pretty posh 
I've seen similar ones, right? And they're so expensive. They all look pretty much the same. So I've got this, and this is a 12-inch wreath. And yeah, two pound, Poundland, bargain. Um, and what I'm going to do with it, apart from hanging it on the front door on Christmas Day, she she's kind of given in and said, you can hang it on Christmas Day, and that's it. I was like, okay. <laughs> um, but what I'm going to do with it is use it on my bookstagram pictures. Um, in case you don't know, uh, bookstagram is like book art, like photography featuring books on Instagram. I love books. I love photography, I love Instagram, so wicked, you know, what a mix for me. I basically take pictures of my books that I'm reading and I kind of make the picture look pretty or have a theme to it kind of thing. So obviously because it's Christmas and winter, a lot of people have been using these kind of wreaths in their bookstagram pictures, so expect to see a book in the middle of here. I'm going to kind of stretch it round a bit um, in a future Instagram bookstagram picture. Uh, by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, Come and follow me. I love Instagram. Minxlaura123 on Instagram. Uh, next up from Poundland, I have a Santa beard. <laughs> Santa baby. Anyway, I just thought it was really fun. I thought it'd be good for like Christmas pictures and things like that. And I'm also going to use this on my other YouTube channel, which is an ASMR channel. I'm not going to go into it too much, but I make videos to help people with anxiety and insomnia. It's like relaxation, kind of meditation videos. And some of the videos that I do, like role plays, okay, now it's starting to sound really weird. Trust me, it's weird, but weird is good. And it helps millions of people, you know, worldwide. Um, so I'm going to definitely use this uh, in a future Christmas themed ASMR video. I'll probably attach, like, um, the Santa beard to the camera. Okay, I'm going to shut up. <laughs> When you say it out loud, it just sounds so freaking odd. Okay, next up, I've got a Christmas card. So, I basically, when I send Christmas cards, I don't send that many, um, but I tend to just use some from the pack. I'll be honest with you. Um, I don't go, like, all out. I mean, I get special ones for, like, my dad and his partner and my best friends, that kind of thing. But in general, most people I send Christmas cards to are from the Christmas card pack. That's basic. I mean, they're all pretty much the same. They've all got Santa on or whatever you get, you know. So I just tend to get, you know, cards from the pack, but I do buy, like, special individual ones for certain people. So this is for one of my best friends, and uh, it says to the both of you, it's for her and her boyfriend, so I thought I'd get that. And it's these two little cute stockings, <laughs> and it says, I love hanging out with you. Do you get it? Because they're hanging... Yeah, so yeah, they do some really lovely Christmas cards. I saw a really, really lovely um, mummy Christmas card. It was so cute. It had all little penguins on and snow. But there's no point in getting my mum a Christmas card because she's Jewish. So sometimes I think, could I just get her a Christmas card? You know, because they're so nice. And she's like, I don't want one. Don't get me one. So, but I have got my Happy Hanukkah jumper on today. <laughs> But, no, I can understand, like, she, she joins in with Christmas and she likes it and stuff, but, like, she, she doesn't celebrate it for a religious reason, so to get her a Christmas card is just, it's, it's pointless, she wouldn't want it, so, there we go. Uh, next up, I have this lovely calendar, which I feel like I wanted to steal for myself, but I'm not going to, because I'm good. Uh, so, yeah, I got this from Poundland, and it is a Disney princess calendar 2018, and it's got all the little cute Disney princesses on there. So, basically, each month you see a different... There you go, can you see that? You see a different um, Disney princess. Pocahontas, Beauty and the Beast. Oh, look, the Beauty and the Beast one. That is probably the best, looking at them. March. I don't know if you can see that one. You see that? Basically, it's um, Belle, and she's got um, Miss Potts next, Mrs. Potts next to her, and Beast behind her, a little chip, and a couple of books. I like March the best. Tangled. <laughs> yeah, this is really cute. I really like this. But yeah, this is a present uh, for Na uh, one of Nathan's sisters because she absolutely loves all things like Disney. So I saw that, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to get that for her. And then I got some hairbands because. You, honestly, you do not understand the stress I have with hairbands. People, please listen to me. Hairbands stress me the f*** out. I don't know what it is. I buy all these hairbands, right? And I don't know what happens to them. They just go. 
they disappear I don't know if they go up the hoover I don't know if they go in the bin I don't know if they're under the bed I don't know where they go maybe they just grow legs and walk out the house but okay that's weird but I don't know what happens to them I literally buy all these hairbands and they're just gone like I can't, I can't find them and the only ones I can find right are these little thin skinny ones that like just like rip as I do my hair up it's like and they're broke so I'm like oh so I saw these for a pound you get blue well dark blue um like medium blue and light blue and then you get this dark pink and baby pink so do not go anywhere I'm actually talking to hair bands this is worrying times do not get lost <laughs> so I'll carry on doing it and the last thing I got um I got one two three four of these and um, I'm going to be doing these in a future video in the next few days. Watch out for the video. I was going to open them in this video. But I was like, no, I'll get another video out of it. Ha <laughs> ha. So I will be doing it a separate video. Um, and some people like they want to watch my shopping haul videos like this, or some people might just want to watch like the unopen is it unopenings? Yeah, of these kind of stuff. Um, so basically, it's I hope I say this properly. Is it some sum to some to some? <laughs> I never know how to say it. It's either some sum or to some sum. I don't think you, you announce the T. It's like some sums. Some anyway. So these are the official Disney ones, and what they are, the little figure charms. They're really cute. You can put them on a little key ring, and inside you get like a little, um, obviously the figurine, and you get like I think a little uh, stickers maybe. I don't know. Looks like stickers and a little pencil maybe. I don't know. But yeah, I think it's really cool. You don't know what one you're going to get. It's like a mystery pack. So you've got like the Cheshire Cat. You've got Frozen characters. You've got Aristocats. You've got uh, Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse. got a little Eeyore down there. So I thought it was really cute. And I'm going to be doing like an unbox... Not unboxing. Opening them, basically. I'm not with it today. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, so I've got these to do. So look out for that video. Coming soon. I'll be opening these. Finding out what are in these packs. What one do I want the best? Probably the little cat from Aristocats because that's really cute. And little Minnie Mouse. Well, they're all cute, really. Can't really, can't really choose because they're really cute. But um, let's do Elsa there. She's cute. <laughs> I love Frozen. I'm so gonna watch Frozen again at Christmas. I love it. Let it go. Let it go. Don't hold it back anymore. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, that is what I got whilst I was out shopping and I also picked up a book from the library which is this one and um, it's called Pushing Perfect by Michelle Fulkoff and um, I read a book from her recently which was absolutely amazing, um, it was called Playlist for the Dead so good so I kind of looked up what other books she'd done and her next book's out next year so I've got to wait for that but this is um her other book she's done I wanted to check it out so it's about a girl called Kara who is like sick of being like made to feel perfect and be perfect and she gets a lot of pressure from her mum to be perfect at her studies perfect at this perfect at that all kind of gets to her and she ends up doing something naughty which I know from reading about it is I think a drug she does a drug and um, then she kind of gets into trouble and she keeps getting these like anonymous messages on her phone and stuff like that and then she meets other people who have kind of getting these anonymous messages and I don't know it sounds really cool and interesting and as I say I loved playlist uh, for the dead it was so amazing um, so yeah I'm looking forward to that I like the little dominoes on the cover there I wondered what that was on my hand then I was like I looked at it in the camera but it's the swatch of my lipstick. <laughs> anyway, so uh, thank you so much for watching. Please click like, comment, subscribe to my channel. And yeah, come follow me on social media. Twitter at MinxLaura123. Instagram, MinxLaura123. And Facebook is Minx.Laura.5. I've really got an itchy nose, I'm sorry. Oh, that's it. You know when you like, you want to itch, but you don't want to itch? I had to itch because it was just itching. Anyway, thanks so much and take care, everybody. I'll see you soon. Bye.